Hey, what's going on guys? Al Desha here. And today I'm going to do a kind of a, a different type of video. Usually I talk about autographs that I've uh, either framed or um, I've gotten through um, returned in the mail. But today I'm going to talk about how I keep track of my autographs. And when I first started collecting, um, I just kept my autographs in um, a pile, basically. I didn't really organize them or anything like that. But once I started getting more autographs, I started putting them in binders. And it's kind of like this. There's some binders you can see that have labeled autographs like that. But they would just be organized as um, as I received them through the mail. I would just put them in binders and kind of store them in pages like this. And just write the name of the person like right there. There's um, John O'Hurley. And um, so I wouldn't forget who signed it because I can't, I can't read that autograph. But... Um, I finally started to, to scan my autographs and um, keep them in a folder on my computer where they'd all be alphabetically um, organized. And I broke them down into categories because when I was storing my autographs through the mail, if I got a photo or an index card, I would just put them all together. But now I separate them and I, these are the categories I have, balls and pucks, books, magazines and posters, comics and toys, extras, things that the uh, autograph signer would include with their autographs, stickers and things like that. Um, images would just be photographs, index cards, which I have most uh, the most of, uh, shirts, sports cards, sports images, and unknown autographs I can't identify. And uh, thankfully, I started uh, scanning these, and it makes life so much easier. I and uh, I back these up with Google Photos, or not Google Photos, Google Drive. My bad. And um, so I have the app on my phone and I can just pull out my phone whenever I want and um, check out my autographs. Or if I want to show somebody an autograph, I can just do that, which is pretty cool. And you can see these are just my index cards. My computer lags a little bit. And I don't have them all on index cards, but like this one's a minute, uh, CD cover of um, Mudvayne, the group. And this was a boarding pass from uh, when I worked at the airport, the boarding pass cover uh, sleeve. And sometimes people would, like, this is Peter Max, the artist. He autographed uh, one of his, it's not a business card, it's bigger than that. Just things like that. I actually have some photos in here, I didn't realize. Um, but yeah, it's just a good way to keep track of your autographs and to keep them organized and know what you have. And... Um, I just wanted to share that. I thought it was a pretty um, decent way to keep track of everything and to have it with you all the time. Because like I said, I have it on my phone, um, Google Drive, and I, I sync this up, this folder with Google Drive so it updates every time I add something to it. And um, so, yeah, that's just kind of what I wanted to go over up, up with you guys today. And um, if you watch my videos, usually I have the camera on the opposite side of the room. Um, looking back at me and my laptop is always up and if you ever wondered what was behind my laptop I'll take the uh, ultimate warrior off there I've got some more crap back there a couple Star Wars VHS's and some um, Marvel figures and some DVDs and things like that so that's what you don't see on the videos that I have back behind there some fireworks I got I need to set off someday so yeah, thanks for hanging out, thanks for watching, and I will be back with another video soon. Thank you.